The Stellar Terra type has been widely panned by the competitive Pokemon community as its lack of applications in VGC has left many players believing it's strictly unviable. However, it recently won a nearly 800 person tournament on a Chen Pao, opening up the question once again of how good is Stellar Terra? Let's discuss the possible Pokemon you could use it on in today's video. If you enjoyed this at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content. But first, this channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. So, I'm here with friend of the channel, Bruno. This link will be in the description down below. You want to say hi? Howdy. How goes it? It's going good. We're both a little bit Happy. sick today. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're just fighting through it. But we're going to talk yep. about the the stellar Terra type and how it's like unbelievably mid. I made a whole video talking about why it's mid and why it's like not that good. However, the uh, biggest tournament yet for Regulation F, like a thousand players, I think. Let's see how many players. It was yeah, 760 like, something. Yeah. Yeah, like a ton of players, right? The winner Crazy. and a couple of people in Top Cut had a Stellar Terra Chen Pao, which I'm like, okay, now I have to talk about Stellar Terra, <laughs> which kind of sucks. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna discuss it. We're gonna explain like where it's good, where it's bad, give our opinions on the uh, entire like mechanic, and yeah, you know, if you enjoy this sampling in time, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and uh, let's get into it. So, uh, Bruno, are you familiar with like? the multipliers and stuff yes but not as much as i wish i was it's 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 oddly complicated for what i think it should be yeah so like yeah i'll, I'll, I'll explain I, I just don't get it yeah please explain to me like i'm a five-year-old yeah yeah please. yeah and it's good because the audience used to hear it too so like stellar terra is it does not necessarily change your type defensively uh chen pao being a dark ice type will maintain all of its dark and ice type traits you will still be weak to everything you know um they'll still resist everything what it changes is your offensive stuff so stellar when you tear it into that will make it so your existing stab moves like icicle crash and sucker punch get a double in base power once Meanwhile, your non-stab moves like Sacred Sword or, I don't know, Hex, if you want to be crazy, um, get a 1.2 multiplier, not 5. It isn't even stab, it's 1.2. So what's like the use case for this? Um, I, I'll be honest, It is there are two situations. It's either Pokemon that have a lot of coverage and like don't mind their original typing, and also Pokemon that have a lot of coverage or are like just super fast and hit hard and don't mind being frail because of an item that they run or like they're just not going to get hit anyways because they're going to pick up KOs and those are like the only two categories of mons where this works so yeah Bruno you want to I mean do you have like any like mons on the list that you think that we should cover beyond this because I like these are like all the ones I could think of and we can go through them one by one but like these are the three that kind of fit the category, but I think overall will be a bad idea, and we can explain that later. I've seen some Terra Stellar Flutter popping up, which is interesting, and I get it. It's like, dude, it's already such a nuke that it's like, why not just become more of a nuke? Yeah. Um, we could just start with the list. I have, I have some too that we could maybe throw on there. Yeah, yeah. Um, as we go, if you want to go that route. Yeah, we'll we'll get to the bomb list, and then we'll we'll talk about it. So, Chimp out. Okay. Um, the reason you would run Terra Stellar on your Chen Pao, we can see the set was Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch. I think that you would need to run Icicle Crash, one, to avoid Rocky Helmet and maintain your Focus Sash. And yeah, like, you, you get, like, your, you have to maintain the Focus Sash, so I think Icicle Crash to avoid Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin, all that is, like, kind of mandatory. Also, it gets you more bang for your buck on it since your Icicle Crash becomes 170 base power instead of 160 off of Ice Spinner. But the main deal is you also get the boost in Sucker Punch damage, and Sacred Sword maintains a little bit of a boost. And I think that there's only one real application for that, 
And that's if you come in on like an Incineroar, right? Because like 252, let's say that they're like 76 defense, right? Just like a random set, because you don't know what Incineroar runs. <laughs> it runs whatever it needs to. Um, yeah. Let's say that you're at neutral. So it says plus one here because there's an Intimidate. It's it's neutral. Uh, your Sacred Sword is doing 85 to 100% with the Stara, Stara, with the Stellar Terra. Which, yeah, that's pretty decent. There's a chance you pick up the KO. But I guess, like, the main point is, like, you just deal a significant amount of damage more once. But even then, it's, like, questionable. Like, I, I don't know if I'll want to run this over Terra Ghost most of the time. It has to be, like, extremely team-dependent, right? Yeah, that makes sense. And, I mean, even the, the fact it's popped up and had that result in that big tour is kind of, kind of eye-opening, too. Yeah. To its viability. And, and uh, like and you 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 see Chen Pao and you think, yeah, Terra Ghost, obviously, or I've seen some Terra Poisons and stuff. It's like that that makes sense. It's such a frail Pokemon that you would want to to keep it around longer with the defensive terror type. So Stellar doesn't make sense there, but like if you can maximize its output with Stellar and just get a lot of bang for your buck, it's gonna smack. Yeah. So I, I get it. But I don't know, what disappoints me is even with the adamant nature, you're not picking up the one shot. Which, yeah, it's yeah. like Incineroar, but like, I don't know, let's go to like Heatran, right? Life Orb Heatran. Let's say it's like a less offense, a less like defensive set. Let's say it's like uh, 100 HP with like a lot of speed and like four defense, right? Sacred Sword with Terra Stellar at neutral is a roll to KO. And I, I see the appeal there. But it's still like, yeah. man, like if they're max HP, I don't think you ever KO. Yeah, you never KO. Would it be know. almost more beneficial to go, I guess probably not, to go like even Terra fighting. But I mean, it's just, yeah. But at that point, it's like you miss out on the other bonuses where it's like, okay, yeah. Like yeah, you, yeah. you maintain the fairy weakness that you're trying to avoid. And then, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It just, it feels like it's on Chen Pao. It's the only one with multiple results in top cut. But I just don't see the point. I feel like most of the time on these teams, you're going to be Terra normaling your, your Entei more. You're going to like Terra flying, your Terra fairy or whatever. Like it feels like the resource goes to everything else and that the Terra, the Terra stellar is more like a coincidence. Yeah. Like they wanted and to try like, it and they did well and they probably almost never popped it. Yeah, that and I mean, also the idea of like people maybe not knowing how it worked or what it really did kind of gives you a surprise factor even an open team sheet too yeah but even and i then, mean like the next the next two you have make sense right because they're yeah you want to explain these yeah I mean, it's just i mean you, you you're contrary you use the you use the funny move and you just start start getting boosts instead of drops it's it's kind of a no-brainer for superior and amorous malamar too if you're a crazy person like I, I get it. It makes sense, even though you're cute, charming, and amorous right now. That's oh, yeah. fine. Contrary. Yeah, so, there we go. yeah, Terra, Terra Stellar, Terra Blast hits, like, all Terrasalized Pokemon for super effective, but the downside is that you lose, uh, you're in, like, you just, like, drop your stats, like, make it rain, but it's attack and special attack. But, like, man, like, I don't know. Like, for these guys, yeah, you can go ahead and go for it, but I feel like Enamorous wants to Terra Steel, and, like, yeah. Superior... I think Superior is a better example of it than an Amorous, funny enough. Just because, like, Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse, you get walled by Steel types. Terra Blast doesn't get walled by Steel types. But then you, like, miss out on the defensive benefit of, like, turning into a Fire type or, I don't know, just losing your Grass weaknesses altogether. And honestly, with those, like, I'd rather just run, like, Eerie Impulse, Thundee next to it and just give, your, give you the plus two boost and go ham. Yeah. Like, right off the bat, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it I mean, feels, it, it feels like that'd be more viable in a lot of situations. Leaf Storm, because it already has the stab on it, it's one thirty. Like a lot yeah. of situations, that's going to net you plus two instead of the plus one from Terra Blast. And even against resisted Mons, the next one's going to hit really hard. Yeah, yeah. No, that's totally. I don't know. I feel like even these guys, it's like it, it's it's a case you could make it for, but um, yeah. it's not particularly appealing to me. But I think that like these three are the three top like. Terra Stellar mods that you can make a case for, and you'll probably see running around on ladder. I just don't know if they're going to see results. Yep. So what about Arch? Arch? Okay, so Arch is one that I'm a little bit of an advocate for, and that's mainly because 
it really likes its steel dragon typing it's like a very good defensive typing um and it is a coverage machine so you immediately go for the terra stellar electro shot and you get 1.2 damage on it on top of the 1.5 from your special attack boosting and it lets you one shot stuff like it just lets you get an immediate damage like just like burst damage right off the gate um yeah. And then from that point on, you just have nukes. Double base power flash cannon that becomes 160. Double base power Draco Meteor becomes 260. And then Dragon Pulse, or and then Dark Pulse becomes just, you know, 1.2 times, which I don't want to do math. But I think it's like 98 something, whatever. Yeah. It's decent damage. But. No, that makes sense. Yeah, but I feel like it likes being the type it is, but like also defensive terrors for this guy, like Terra Grass are like really valuable. I don't know. I feel like the the main reason I'm kind of a, a Terra Stellar hater is that like the name of the game with 99% of Pokemon in like competitive right now is defensive Terras. Like offensive Terras exist yeah. solely for the likes of like Fluttermane, who even in that even with like that that offensive Terra, it gets a defensive bonus because pure pure Fairy is a better defensive typing than Ghost Fairy because you lose the Sucker Punch neutrality. It becomes resisted. It lets you live that from like Adamant Champau with like a Life Orb, um, and like with Urshifu. Like, people say, like, oh, yeah, yeah, Urshifu could be a good Stellar Terra Pokemon because it, it always stays a water type. Like, yeah, but you, you neglect to realize that it loses the fighting type, which is the main reason it's good to go yes. Terra Water because you don't get one shot by Flutter anymore. You, you know what could be cool? Just going along those lines of, like, something that uses an offensive Terra that maybe could do it. Like, I just thought of this as, like, maybe Torkoal. <sighs> maybe, Possibly. but, like, it only runs a fire move and earth power. Pretty much, yeah. But because I'm just thinking of like the like offensive terrors that stay that type. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Urshifu loses the fighting type. Torkoal's well, like the only the first one that comes to mind that actually like stays that wants to stay what it is. Yeah, my concern with Torkoal though is is this right? So it clicks spread moves, and the entire point of Torkoal is to pick up a KO immediately, right? Yeah. If they they can do like so, if you if you uh, stellar Terra into a protect you don't lose the boost, okay? So what they can do is they can go, oh, my resist, like my incineroar, I won't protect that, but I'll protect the other one. So it uses up the fire boost, and now my other mon lives because the boost is gone. So like Terra Fire sense. would just be better because you keep it all the way, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that. I get, I got you. That makes sense. So like, th that's my concern with that. But like, I don't know, along the lines of like other like, other mons that would like it, um... I don't know. Let's let's keep going through this list, the existing one, and if you have like another, we can talk about it. But uh, Dragapult was one that is probably a little bit of a stretch, but Dragon Darts, U-Turn, Phantom Force, Protect. It usually runs Choice Band at the moment, but like if you were to run Life Orb, you know, yeah. you get you have options. Uh, also, there's like special attacking sets which aren't terribly common right now, but that lets you run Shadow Ball and Flamethrower and like Thunderbolt. Great go. Yeah, and Draco Meteor. That could be oops. that could be an interesting set, but I still don't feel yeah. like it gets the job done. I don't know. Maybe it could actually. Yeah, I mean, actually, this could be a really good idea. Like Life Orb, Aerosol, or Dragapult. The more I think about it, um, because like it already the special attack is like kind of like mediocre, but it's it's high enough where like the Life Orb plus the Terrastellar will let you pick up one shots. So like Shadow Ball will always one shot a Flutter Man, and then. You know, they send in the Incineroar. It's like, okay, well, now I have to take Life Orb, Terra Stellar, Draco Meteor. Well, it's not gonna. Actually, we should run that calc. Dragon Bolt. Uh, choice Specs. We'll change it to a Life Orb. I'm actually really curious about this. Life Orb, Terra Stellar. When you hit me up about this, Dragon Bolt was like one of like the first three that came to mind. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's It's always coverage monsters, you know? It's just it's it's just a big attacking fast mon this that is so has sad. great spread. How this bad is, is it? So sad. What if you go modest? Oh, it just it feels like this the Terra Stellar just doesn't do what it needs to. It feels like it just barely misses out yeah. on everything. It's so close, and that's with it's zero spadef. Like a lot of Incineroar run a lot of spadef. <laughs> you know, like one eighty eight, right? It's such a tease, <laughs> man. Like I, it, it should be so much better. I don't know. I feel like the like the point of an offensive Terra is to pick up like as many one shots as you can. And with Terra Stellar, you need to pick up one shots because you don't get a second chance with that typing. You know? Yeah. 
Or Gunzi, I recently found out that Terra Stellar doesn't take into account adaptability. So he's off the list. Oh. Yeah, doesn't okay. that suck? <laughs> yeah, that's... If it did, that'd just be freaking stupid. I wish it did. Because then poor Gunzi Terra Stellar would be real. Uh, Metagross. Yes. Metagross, there is a legitimate use case. Um, you know, Heavy Slam, Bullet Punch, and then you're all coverage. Because it doesn't really run Psychic. It can. It can run Psychic Fangs, but it used to not. And then your final wave is usually Stomping Tantrum. But he also has other options, you know. Ice Punch, that sort of thing. Yeah, but I feel like Metagross, you have, it has to be on the right team for you to justify Stellar Terra, obviously. But like, because I feel like you would want it to be a different terra type like terra water or something yeah or dragon like something defensively that works well for it yeah yeah or fairy or something even i'm really like, curious you Does want it to pick up anything different. like bulky flutter right and we we'll give it bullet punch bullet punch does not pick up bulky flutter without era right but if we were to stellar terra does it do it with an adamant nature it what is going on why does this feel so it's mid is, is this it's bugged? Already, is it bugged? Hold on. What if I go Terra Steel? It feels like no, it's not. Mid. That's just that's just how it works. How do you not even pick a bulky flutter? And that's a reasonably bulky flutter. That's not even like crazy crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I This whole video was meant to be like, <laughs> okay, what can use it? And it feels like that we're like stretching so hard right now. Like, yeah, this could, but like in most situations, why not go like with... Doing like, yeah, it feels like we're like Mythbusters, and we're just like, uh, we're disproving what we've set out to kind of almost try to prove. <laughs> yeah. Um, Iron Bundle is an interesting one. It's kind of like Chen yeah. where it's like, yeah, you want to, you know, be like a fast offensive mod, but like, what, what, you don't use it for coverage. Use it entirely for your stabs. So... But then, like, the issue is, like, okay, what if you accidentally use it on an Icy Wind? What if you have to waste the boost on that? But yeah. as far as that goes, Iron Bundle does hit really hard. Like, fast booster energy. We give it, like, a Stellar Terra. And just its usual moveset. How much does Hydro Pump do to a Flutter? Not nearly as much as I would have hoped, actually. Yeah. 59 to 71. I mean, that's that's pretty respectable. What if you click Blizzard? It was like, that was a set. Specs Blizzard was also a set. So what if we do that? So item choice specs. Okay, that's that's a little bit more respectable. You can like sometimes pick up the one shot on Flutter if you don't miss. Um, I I don't think that the Stellar Terra gets used up if you miss. I think you actually have to connect. Okay, I was about to ask that because I didn't. I don't. I don't know how. To, like if I click pump and I miss, does it actually take my boost? I don't know. Okay, this is kind of an interesting case. Like, Bulky Incineroars. Bulky Incineroars can just calc to live Hydro Pump. But if you Stellar Terra, then they can't. Like, that's that's kind of a situation where it's kind of useful. Yeah, but I mean, I'd kind of want to be Ghost to... <laughs> to not get faked avoid out. Avoid the fake out, yeah. Like. And also to not get one shot by Rillaboom. Speaking of yeah. which, speaking of which, this is actually a case for it. Uh, Miracle Seed, though. It has to be Miracle Seed. Yeah. Because Miracle Seed Rillaboom already picks up like really crazy KOs next to Chen Pao. So Rillaboom, give it 252 attack. Adamant with the Miracle Seed. And we will change it to Teller <laughs> Teller Stara. Stellar Terra. Um has all the coverage it needs. We'll change that for knockoff though. And then we terrastle it. And then versus like a flutter. Bulky Flutter main is at risk of getting one shot by Miracle Seed, Grassy Search stuff. And if there is a Chen Pao in the field, yeah, you just get one shot by Grassy Glide. It's like, that's like an okay. actual use for it. Um, and then at that point, you also have like the option to use it for high horsepower, which Incineroar, we keep going to Incineroar, but like that is like the Pokemon. Oh wait, actually, you know, we should check Urshifu. Cause yeah. those guys get pretty bulky. Here's like kind of a bulkier set. We'll give it like 36 HP. Why not? Um, Grassy Glide. With no sort of rune does one shot. That's pretty good. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But Incineroar. Incineroar is the big one. 252. Minus one. High horsepower. What if we're not at minus one? 
That's respectable. Comes close. Yeah. And Incineroar is like a chip, a chip Pokemon. You get chipped a lot. So I could see it possibly mattering. Since you already run Terra Grass. Uh <laughs> I don't know. It's it's an interesting case. Yeah. I can see though. it. I think Lando's a scary one. It's so good. It's so good right now, it's wild. But it like <laughs> it always runs Terra Poison too, like and it kinda needs it. Also to like yeah. justify it, you kinda have to run um extra sensory. Because otherwise Terra Poison, yeah, because otherwise Terra Poison, like with Earth Power, you still get like the boost on both of them, you know? That makes sense. So if you were to go Stellar, what do you start one-shotting? What's like a, what's, what's like a Poison Mon or like, what, what is Psychic Hit that like matters? Fighting types? I guess Iron Hands. Ursh Urshifu? Well, Urshifu, uh, yeah. Iron Hands would be, a, Iron Hands would be a good one in general because it's just a bulky boy. Yeah, but you, you already one-shot with Earth Power, so... Do you, um, do you one shot anyway with extra sensory? How close is it without Terra? <laughs> Earth Power does it anyway. Sludge Bomb comes close with like Urshifu. Um, yeah. But Iron Hands. Hands. Let's see. Terra Grass Assault Vest. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a close one shot with Earth Power anyways. Yeah, I don't know. You can, you can make a case for it. Like what other coverage moves does he even have? Like Grass Knot to hit water types? Um... Man, I feel like it just says nothing. It it has moves, but it but it doesn't. It's weird because you the, you get more coverage out of running Therian. What if you do thunderous Therian? Here's here's my thing about Thundy Therian. It's like God, I love Terra flying because like you kind of need it. You do. It's it's like Lando. Therian, where it's just like it's just so good when you Terra Blast and get the double flying coverage that Stella just won't. It, you you just don't have a flying move for it. Yeah, and you're hitting everything for neutral, but you're not getting like the double base power, and you're not hitting like grass yeah. types, which now wall you out. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's I I I don't know. I really wanted to like find a mon other than Shen Pao where you could justify this, and it feels like it's these three. And like maybe our child on and maybe Dragapult. Can I take you down a weird rabbit hole? Yeah, yeah, show of, me. Of my of where my brain is going. What about Ursa Luna? Not Blood Moon, just regular Ursa Luna. Ooh. Because you Ooh. think about it, you're getting you you get the guts boost, you get the facade. Right? You go like facade, you go um my brain said high horsepower, but not that. Uh whatever the ground move is, Headlong I'm too rush. sick to think. Headlong. And then dude, I've been running like Shadow Claw in the last spot, crunch. Right, something, something good, like, so, crunch. like a dark or yeah, a darker uh, ghost type. Like that feels like that just hurts. I'm actually really like, curious. Facade just smacks anyway. Crunch, Stellar Terra, Rastal, and like a Dusclops. No, it comes close. It's seventy to eighty-two. So if they switch it on a headlong, a headlong does more anyways. Ah, oh, so sad. Yeah. Yeah. It's so sad, bro. <laughs> Do you one shot Porygon 2 with facade? You might. It's a roll. Oh my god, this is so unbelievably mid. God. It's not it's not even a favorable roll. It's barely a roll. Yeah. Oh my god, why is this so bad? I try I, you know the thing is like I, I get comments. I wanted to entertain it further because I made a video explaining why it's bad. But now that we have tournament results and like other like experimentations, I'm like, yeah, let's take a deep dive and see what might work. Um, and I keep getting comments saying like, no, you don't get it. You don't get it. It's busted, bro. Enamorous Superior, it's busted. I haven't seen nor lost to a single Enamorous or Superior on ladder so far. And like everything else I try to justify other than Chen Pao, it feels like it's a waste. Yes. I've so I played a Superior on my channel like last week and it wasn't even Stella. It was fire, and it did just because it's fire. more reliable. Yeah, uh, it missed its first leaf storm, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's let's talk about the ones that you should avoid. Uh. I don't think Urshifu should run it. Urshifu runs Choice Scarf sets sometimes, and Mystic Water most of the time. So it runs like Surging Strikes, Close Combat, uh, Aqua Jet U Turn, 
unlike the choice scarf sets. So let's just like go with that hypothetical adamant, right? So the reason I think you can't do this <laughs> is literally just because you still get one shot by Flutterbane. Like, look, look, let's go with, let's go with, um, actually we'll throw him up over here. Urshifu. Mystic Water set. Flutter. Not even specs, we'll go like Sash. Why not? Obviously, Stellar Terra is not going to change anything defensively. Moonblast, still a one-shot. Dazzling Gleam, kind of a roll for a one-shot, unless they're modest, in which case, yeah, it's a one-shot. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, maybe you could make a case, because you could, you could calc to get to the point where it's like, yeah, I always live the Dazzling Gleam. That is a calc that some people do. Um, however, a lot of Fluttermane run the Choice Specs item. Most Fluttermane run the Choice Specs item. At which point, no, you're not living the Dazzling Gleam. Meanwhile, if you were to go yeah. Terra Water, oh, guess what? You just tank that with no investment. Yeah. It's 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 losing that defensive type. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Offensively, though, there is... I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Because I'm like, oh yeah, maybe if you get like intimidated by an Incineroar, you can close combat instead. But Surging Strikes just KOs it anyways, because it doesn't care. Correct. I don't know. And the same deal with Flutter, which you covered earlier on in the video. Flutterman, like, it wants to get rid of the ghost weaknesses. Like, it doesn't want to take neutral damage from Dark type. It wants to resist that, because it, it's it's integral to letting it live hits. Like, look at this. If we were to take a Chen Pao, just adamant Chen Pao, right? And put it versus a, a Flutterman. That Sucker Punch does 102 to 120%. Where if you Terrastal and turn into a Fairy type, now it does 50.7 50, 50 to 60%. So you always get to go for your Moonblast versus it. I don't know. Yeah, and that's no bulk too. Yeah, that's no bulk. Like if you go with like a bulkier Flutterman, <laughs> you just so important. You just body that thing. Like look. Yeah, Sucker Punch does 40% maximum. Ice Go Crash, you live that too. So, I don't know. It feels like that's not a good idea. Walking Wake, some people have made a, a case for, you know, I have double power on Draco, on Hydro Steam, um, on Flamethrower, which it also wants to run. And I don't know, there's other moves it gets, but those are typically like the only three you really see. But the same deal happens here. It's weak to Flutter, but it has good bulk, 99.83. It's better bulk than Urshifu on the special side. So why not turn into a pure water type <laughs> or like a poison type or a steel exactly. type? Yeah. I don't know. Um, there is one that I thought of, and I just like, I kind of want to bounce it off of you because I don't know how it would work. It seems threatening. And then as I'm going through it, I'm like, well, maybe it's probably not the best idea. It's Don Dozo. And I know you're you're the Don Doctor, or you were in a past life. I like, was. Because it just seems like, dude, like, you just, you, you get the commander boost, and then you get boosted on top of it. it's like and you're and you're already a water type which is fantastic can i tell you why i think this isn't gonna work because, because you're just gonna sit there forever and you're gonna get too many drops and raging bolt oh yeah that exists now yeah, yeah raging bolt exists now and it always runs like booster <laughs> energy or like life orb or something and like even yeah. at plus <laughs> even at plus two you're taking too much like it don doesn't yeah. needs the defensive tarot you're right you're right i man i'm not used to this reg f stuff yet I forgot the long neck guy's here. He's so good. I don't know. It is. We tried. Like, I literally sat down and I messaged Bruno. I said, Bruno, do you want to take a look at, like, the Pokemon that might be good with, with Stellar Terra? And, like, the more we tried to justify it, it's like, oh, but you can also do this. You can also do that. We were legitimately trying to find a reason to use it. We were trying. I, I really want it to work. If you want to use it, use it in, in, in Terra Raids. It's good Terra Raids. You don't lose the boost. Yo, I just thought of one. What's up? And this this is this is down the <clears throat> road, right? This is GS Cup. Yeah. Zashin. Um, you might be cooking there, actually. Hold on. Because I mean, think about it. Because they they nerfed Intrepid Sword, so now you get the you only get plus one once. Yeah, and it likes Sacred Sword. Now you can essentially get it. Now you can sort kind of get it again. It already hits like a truck. Hold on. Here's the test. It's the Incineroar test. It's, yeah, it's always Incineroar. He is the litmus test. So, basically, the only reason you run this this Terra is to one shot something, and if you can't one shot something, it's not worth it. That's like the that's that's the that's the thing. 
Let's give it sacred Are you sword. Go adamant on it. I I feel like it'd be bad faith to not. <laughs> yes. All right. So. <laughs> this is so sad. This is sad. This is so sad. 252 Wait, attack. Yeah. Terra Stellar Zacian Crown Sacred Sword versus 252 zero defense incineroar neutral because you're at plus one and they bring you back to minus one 73 you had an, to 88 and you had a non-boosting nature too all right with adamant oh yeah i forgot to do that adamant it still doesn't oh my god it still doesn't um i mean at plus one obviously you take the ko but i don't think you even need it yeah you don't need it like without the terra you do it Bro, this te this Terra sucks. I wanted to I wanted to find a reason. I wanted to find a reason. I can't. Maybe versus you know Kyogre. What? Wild charge. <laughs> We're grasping at straws now. Dog. Yeah, we are grasping here. Okay, so <laughs> apparently you just already one shot with Wild Charger plus one. But if they're max HP and have like some defense investment, <laughs> technically speaking. Technically speaking, no, you still one shot with all that. H how long does it? How long until you stop one shotting? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So, so a lot of defensive investment. If they're two fifty two, one fifty six. If they're throwing, <laughs> if they are throwing, and wild charge doesn't KO, bam. Now why does it just barely do it? Yeah, that's even sad. <laughs> yeah, it just barely gets over the hump. Wait, why does it? just hardly increase like that that's so funny <laughs> all right i don't know this <laughs> we tried we tried um do your best it has one tournament result so far i think marco fear also won some other like random online tour with uh terra stellar fluttermane but it feels like more like new toy syndrome i yeah. don't know but dude i said it to a friend too i'm just like it's it's kind of a mid thing but on the on, uh, but on the flip side, I'm glad it's not polarizing. I'm glad it's not OP. I'm glad it's not insane. Like, it's it's a decent balance. It's yeah. Like th somebody will find a niche for it. Someone will. And it's just Chen Pao. <laughs> Thank you Bye. for watching. If you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe. L let me know in the comment section, what do you think can use Terra Stellar? We can't think of anything. Maybe you can enlighten us. Um, You know, make sure you check out Bruno's channel. Bruno, how many subs are you at? I uh, just crossed 2,500. 2,500. All right, get them. Get them up to 3,000 minimum. Um, uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, get them up to 3,000 minimum. I mean, I already know that like we're gonna get like at least 10,000 views in this video minimum. So like, if all of you sub, you know, that'd be pretty sick. But yeah, thanks for watching. Right. Have a nice one. Bye.